Well, here we have Blackface Hitler trends as Justin Trudeau's government cracks down on truckers. I'm Grid7, and uh, what Trudeau's doing, what the Canadian government is doing, just reminds me so much, historically, of what went on in the 1930s in the German government against Jews, and yet the left is okay with it. That's what's scary. But let's get into this article here. It's by the Daily Wire. And it has Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau became the subject of an unflattering Twitter twind trend among his crack, uh, continued crackdown on trucker protests. As Trudeau evoked emergency powers, arrested protesters, froze financial accounts, and even threatened to have government officials confiscate pets from detained protesters, the hashtag Blackface Hitler began making the rounds. I mean, if you think about all that, and if, if you take a look at what happened after Kristallnacht, it's, mm, it's, it, it's a little bit similar. Now, I'm not going to say it's the same. But some of the steps here, mm, and the left is okay with it. Uh, continuing on. I don't want to hear one more word from these end-of-democracy Democrats until the White House denounces Trudeau and how he's treating his peaceful protesters. Florida congressional candidate uh, Laverne Spicer tweeted, Lawrence Fox shared a quote from author George Orwell. She goes, I see that hashtag blackface Hitler is trending. Good. And the meme here has all tyrannies ruled through fraud and force. But once the fraud is exposed, they must rely exclusively on force. And sorry, George Orwell has it right here. Now, Trudeau's been exposed. The A lot of the stuff he's doing the, the emergency acts for are no longer there. Now, the truckers aren't blocking the bridges and all that type of stuff, international trade and all that anymore. So why is he so using so much force against these protesters? Another one from Lauren Fox. This is what hashtag blackface Hitler is scared of. Unity in the face of tyranny. And they just have a little thing of... I mean, this is the violent protesters that Trudeau is evoking the emergency act on. These are the people that he's freezing the accounts on. Simply because they don't want a mandate. Think about that. They don't want a vaccine mandate. That's what all this is about. And he's going after them like they're burning down cities. Oh, wait a minute, that was Black Lives Matter, which actually burned down business and left defended. Another tweet here. I know who hashtag blackface Hitler was referring to before I even looked at the tag. Yeah. Trudeau, who was forced to apologize several years ago for wearing costumes that included blackface, drew several comparisons to Nazis dictator Adolf Hitler when he evoked emergency powers in order to crack down on the massive trucker protest known, as, known best as the Freedom Convoy. Uh, Tesla and SpaceX founder Elon Musk tweeted and then deleted among backlash from leftists who are idiots a meme comparing Trudeau to Hitler. And Daily Wire editor Emeritus Ben Shapiro responded on his show on Friday explaining why the meme was not anti-Semitic and why it might even be an appropriate comparison. Uh, This is from Ben Shapiro. Uh, This is frightening stuff. All of this should frighten you. So here's the thing. What was the left all hot and bothered about yesterday? What was the left hot and bothered about was the fact that Elon Musk tweeted out an internet meme about Hitler. This is what the left was super worried about. So just to get this straight, if a Black Lives Matter activist attempts to murder a Jew in Louisville, this is not anti-Semitism. Even if his page is loaded with anti-Semitism, not anti-Semitism. However, if Elon Musk makes a Hitler joke about a leader who has now invoked an emergencies act to freeze bank accounts and utilize dictatorial power, Elon Musk, Elon Musk must be secretly a vicious anti-Semitic. And that's what the left is doing. They ignore their own and go after anything that even remotely... You know, they're, basically, the left is throwing everything they can at the wall to make it stick against these truckers. 
and th- they do it all the time. They, they throw anything and everything. Now, if you looked at what the truckers were hit with, you know, it was uh, terrorism, racism, Nazism, uh, even Russia. Uh, but you know, Shapiro went on and said, and he tweeted out a meme, he talking about Elon Musk, about a meme of Hitler that said, stop comparing me to Justin Trudeau. I had a budget. Okay, that's a very old internet joke, right? What's the difference between ex-politician and Hitler? Hitler had a mustache, right? I've heard those. That went on before the internet. Now, these are very old internet jokes. They're not anti-Semitic. No, they were basically just being jokes. Okay, like, let me explain as a person who has been attacked with probably more anti-Semitism than any, nearly anyone in the American public life. I can safely say that I am that this is not an anti-Semitic mean. And Shapiro, being Jew, Jewish, now probably has gotten quite a lot from the left. The left is anti-Semitic, anti-Semitic, uh, suddenly I can't say that word. Uh, but, not go on here. In the days since invoking the emergency orders, Trudeau's government has arrested protesters, frozen bank accounts of those associated with the press, with the protests. And that is just... It's so worrying, really. And it's just amazing how people are supporting this tyranny. Because, no, I mean, I saw a thing where, I think it was on Twitter, where the Canadian government saying, don't believe foreign press. No, they want they want the Canadian citizens to only believe their propaganda. They're flat out afraid of people hearing an opposing opinion. Uh, let me know what you think. Is Trudeau uh, on the path to being a dictator? I don't. I, I, one thing I have a real hard concern with with this emergency act is where does it end? Where does it end? Let me know what you think. YouTube Rumble, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next video.